Well, you know, I, it, it was hot today, Ugh, but the yeah. humidity, Bob, wasn't that high. Yeah, it's, right? not, it's not in the 70 it's not as bad. dew it's point. Not like, 70 yeah, dew it's point or above, so. it's bad. It's been in the mid 60s, so it's a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it was great weather for the uh, 17th annual Morton's Firehouse mm -hmm. Chili Cookoff. I couldn't make it. I was supposed to MC the event, but uh, I was ill yesterday. So. And we know that's very rare for Bob it, it to have is. to miss something. Yeah, so something as good as that really too. Been yeah. Feeling bad. Yeah, yeah, I was in bad shape. I no no way I could have eaten anything close to chili, let alone that. That's not. Yeah, that's not the place you want to be if right. you're not feeling But well. uh, I, I understand it was a great turnout for that event, yeah. and then we're, we're thankful that everyone showed up for that and had a great time. And another great event today, I was at the Law Enforcement Officers Relief Fund playing some golf with Nate Ditchfield and his dad. And uh, I'll tell you what, great golfer Nate, and he also has a tee it up show, golf show that he does every Saturday morning too. Uh, great guy there and a great event too to raise money for the law enforcement relief fund there. A, view, a viewer photo, Norm Schimmel. We know Norm. He's always sending some great shots and there's another one uh, with the moon rising above the Ringling Bridge. Lakewood Ranch webcam showing some fair weather cumulus clouds moving uh, overhead and once in a while producing just a brief shower or two. Not a lot but just a little bit uh, and that activity uh, is now uh, winding down. Most of the rain is over and it looks like we'll see a return event uh, for a few brief showers tomorrow. You can see that quite clearly lined all the way up there. A little bit of a east coast breeze uh, butting up against a little bit of a west coast, but not much right there along the Gulf of Mexico. There's still a strike. Uh, you may be seeing a straggler there, a shower or two uh, possible, maybe a sprinkle uh, possibly along the coast, but that'll be about it. 85 degrees, the dew point there. It is 67. Still fairly high for this time of year, but lower than what the summer months uh, usually entail, which are usually in the low to mid 70s when it comes to the dew point temperature. Winds are out of the east northeast still at 8 miles an hour. Temperatures around the state. It's 78 in Jacksonville, 81 now into Orlando and into the mid 80s up and down the coast, although Braden is still checking in at 87. Wachula at 84 degrees and 83 in Arcadia, Inglewood at 83. Well, this is hard to believe, but this is the uh, storm. It refuses to go away. This is Nicole. 13 days it's been around, and at one point it was a major hurricane, and now it's just barely ho uh, holding on to that status. But it's so far north in latitude, you would never expect that, and it's certainly doing that. We had one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the lowest part of the latitudes, and that was Matthew, and now one of the strongest uh, hurricanes, at least in the northern latitudes as well. So an unusual year and another area of disturbed weather to keep an eye on right there over the Bahamas. We'll talk more about that in a little bit, but this is probably the last it will be a hurricane as Nicole moves off to the northeast. But I'm not taking any bets on that. You never know. It's been kind of strange for a storm to stick around with that kind of shear, too. There's been some very strong shear nearby. Well, the uh, tropical tracker, 60% chance the Hurricane Center gives this area of developing into auto in the next five days. And it's close to Florida, but the good news is uh, we mentioned the cold front that'll be slicing through over the weekend. Well, that cold front's going to back everything off and take it off into the Atlantic. So even if it were to develop, it would have a little or no impact on our state at all. A few showers are possible again on that easterly wind flow on in through, it looks like Wednesday and even into Thursday. Uh, the dry air is around too in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's the reason why the showers that are popping up don't stick around very long because of this dry air in place. And it will stay there again tomorrow, but there'll be just enough heat of the day and just enough moisture in the low levels anyway to indicate a few showers late in the afternoon. Well, that colder air is bottled up here over the northern Rockies and throughout the central Rockies. Eventually, it will slide down to the southeast. Now, it's not going to be a tremendous blast of cold air, but it will be noticeably cooler, especially on Saturday and Sunday morning. We'll see some upper 50s to low 60s across the Sun Coast, it appears. Northeast winds at 10 knots. Uh, seas will be right around 2 feet. There'll be a light chop on the bays and inland waters. The water temperature now at 80 degrees, and the UV index will be high tomorrow at 9. And as far as the temperature goes for the beach, right around 87. Low tide upcoming, 819. Another low tide at 930 tomorrow morning. Tonight's forecast, a few sprinkles, still possible, but generally uh, mostly fair to partly cloudy skies. 70 for a low, and then tomorrow, high of 89. We can't get rid of those warm temperatures until the weekend. Saturday comes along, and temperatures drop down into the low 80s, a little bit below average. It should be a nice weekend.